long, long time. Well, after last year's event, I hadn't hardly had time to settle down and put my feet up till I found myself in court. It was because of the most peculiar set of happenings. Why, if it hadn't been for that furry tail little varmint who couldn't cross the street without getting lost, none of this would have ever happened. It wouldn't have become famous and been known far and wide as the great squirrel case of Cobb County. <laughs> well, one Saturday morning, my daughter and I, we were driving along. And way up in front of us, this here squirrel darts in the middle of the road and just starts going back and forth. Well, I put my foot on the brake and started slowing till I come to a stop. And there he is, right in front of me, still going back and forth like some kind of fur-covered ping-pong ball with a tail. Well, the problem was the lady behind me, she kept it going too. At least until she ran into the back of my car. And then the policeman gives me the ticket. He charges me with a violation of section 40-6-123, subsection C. I was mortified, shocked and appalled, I tell you. Not section 40-6-123, subsection C. I saw my life passing before my eyes. I mean, the guilt, the shame. What if someone I knew were to find out I had been charged with a violation of section 40-6-123, subsection C? Improper stopping. Well, I may be an accountant, but it didn't take me long to realize that the proper way to stop a car is by putting your foot on the brake. It's the lady behind me that should have been charged with improper stopping. Now, in Georgia, there's actually two ways to improperly stop your car. And the first way, it depends on the size of the squirrel. But that comes under Section 203. <laughs> but I was not charged with stopping for too small of a squirrel. <laughs> That's a fine legal point that the prosecution just did not seem to understand. Well, I had to defend my honor, and my case came up for trial. And I took the stand, and then I heard just about the dumbest questions I've ever heard. And I've heard some mighty dumb questions. <clears throat> oh, son, 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 I said, just how much, how much did that squirrel weigh? I looked at him, and I thought to myself, he may have been educated, but he didn't learn nothing. Well, I turned to him, and I said, I would have had to stop my car. That's what I was charged with in the first place. I would have had to stop my car, get out, and weigh that squirrel. But I don't rightly know. I never weighed a squirrel before. <laughs> the next question was even dumber. I say, I say, that squirrel have fangs? <laughs> and I turned and looked at him. And I thought to myself, what does he think I am? Some kind of rodent orthodontist? <laughs> I mean, perhaps, perhaps if I were to ask the little fella real kindly like, he kind of calmed down. And climbing to this little, this little squirrel-sized dental chair I just happened to have along. <laughs> and he would lean his little squirrel mouth back and say, ah. <laughs> but. I said to him, I would have had to stop my car, catch that squirrel, and examine him. But no, sir, I did not see any fangs. The next question made me wonder if he had 
ever been to school before. Oh, I say. I say, was that a fly? Was that a flying squirrel? <laughs> if that were a flying squirrel, I wouldn't hit stop in the first place. <laughs> you see, that's about the time that I thought that the, the officer was going to pull the prosecutor over. <laughs> Give him a ticket for failure to stop. Stop asking dumb questions. <laughs> but, you know, just like that there squirrel, he just kept going. <laughs> oh, I see. I say, do you believe, don't you think that you were the cause of the accident by bringing your motor vehicle to a stationary position in the roadway? And I said to him, I believe, I believe that the accident was caused by the lady behind me's failure to stop. He only asked me one more question. He says, son, don't you know, don't you know that in Georgia, in Georgia, it is unlawful to bring your motor vehicle to a stationary position in the roadway unless... Unless it is an emergency situation. And I said to him, it was an emergency situation. It was a medical emergency concerning my daughter's mental health. Why, if I'd run over that squirrel, she'd been traumatized for life. Well, the judge didn't seem to know what to think. I guess she just never had a squirrel case before. <laughs> but she picked up that gal. Not guilty. Not guilty by reason of absurdity. Wasted away again, a margarita bell.